Howdy guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Trash. I'm Cameron. I'm Ellen. And this is a new guest that we have on the show, uh, my sister Shauna. And this is her little cat, Shiva, here. So <laughs> we're going to start cooking with trash before he gets pissed off. <laughs> okay, so we have arrived at the dumpster. I brought my sister along. This is her first time. She's not going dumpster diving, but she's going to watch and learn. Yeah, I'm going to dumpster dive and see what we find. Come along. All right. freaking haul from the dumpster. The dumpster gods have provided it and I'm very thrilled. So let me show you what we got. All these waters still in their container. Good to go. We got two pineapples. Not sure about these. They have some icky stuff on them. But celery here. We've got these closed peaches. These cherry tomatoes are still decent. Corn of the cob in there. Apples. We've got these like bakery loaves and stuff. Some more tomatoes. Some eggs in here. Most of them. I think one or two might be like squished but for the most part. Hey look at that. These are all perfect, pristine, so. We are going to take these on back and uh, see what we can do with them. <laughs> you know you're filming me. So we just got back uh, from dumpster diving. We have our haul here, and I'm gonna take all of that food into the fridge. I should really be cleaning it right now, but uh, quite frankly, I can't really be asked to, so. I'm going to grab all of these. Oh, come along. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, anything that needs to be stored in the refrigerator, we're gonna put in the refrigerator. These waters are good to go. We're gonna leave them up here for the time being. I'm pretty certain I'm just gonna throw that celery out. The pineapples should be all right. So yeah, sweet corn, throw that up in there. We got all these eggs here. These are definitely going in the fridge. And the eggs, I already know there's some broken eggs in there, so I'll pull those ones out tomorrow when I clean them. And that's how you do it, just like that. Alrighty, so to begin today's cooking fiesta. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gonna start things off by explaining what we are gonna be using uh, to cook and the ingredients that we have today to cook with. So we're gonna be doing kind of our version of uh, shashuka with eggs and tomatoes and uh, it's really freaking nice. So we've got a pot over here with uh, some water, a pan over here. We've got our griddle here. We're gonna be cooking everything on this bad boy. We've got um, some olive oil and some pepper and some salt. Um, these are ingredients that we we bought, but uh, you know, if you manage to dumpster dive them, uh, awesome. We also have an onion that we dumpster dive from our last dumpster diving session. We've got some corn on the cob here. We've got some tomatoes, eggs. We also have some basmati rice and some kidney beans that we've already prepared and cooked. Both of these were from a previous dive. So that's the coolest thing about dumpster diving is if you pull out a ton of ingredients, things like rice and beans, uh, those things keep for a while. So we just stored them away and look, we're able to use them again. So other than that, we've got a chopping board. I have got a cooking pan with an upended bowl. More on that later. This is our compost bowl. Always have to have it nearby. Little mixing bowl. Got a couple of knives here. Big chef knife and a little paring knife. Got a spatula, our cutting board, and of course those pots and pans over there on the griddle, ready to cook. All right, and with that said, we're gonna move on to the cooking. 
Step one, we are going to focus on this onion right here and we're basically just going to chop it into bits from what I understand. We're going to start by cooking our rice. Um, just a way to incorporate the <clears throat> onion into the dish, I'm going to dice it. We are going to dice it and we're going to actually cook it with the rice separate from the rest of our ingredients. Yep, there you go. It's the proper technique. I feel that knife safety is not being uh, respected right now. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Okay, step number a two. So we're gonna get a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of that pan. Someone wanna grab the top there? Oh yes, I uh, can do yes, that. <laughs> Years yes. of training. I actually traveled to Tibet to learn how to do Shana, that. Shana, why don't you put some oil in that pan, enough to cover the bottom. We don't need a, a big well of it. All right, we're gonna be adding our onions and our rice. We wanna toast these a little bit, get some of that good, good flavor on there. At the same time? Yeah, just yes, nuke indeed. it. Yes, indeed. Oh! Okay. Ah! Mm. Okay, this is the last time she comes on the show. You had one job. Okay, so, so um, <laughs> screw up aside. We are on track to creating a really nice meal here. All right, so we've just got that mixed together with a little bit of olive oil. Let's season it. A little salt and pepper. There you go, salt. All right, a little pepper. All right, so now that we have put the rice and the onions in the pot here, we're just gonna let them cook down. Um, and then once they cook down a little bit, we'll go ahead and add some water and boil that rice. And with brown rice, um, there's no specific ratio. A lot of times with white rice, you're gonna do one and a half times as much water as you have rice. With brown rice, you wanna cook it more like pasta. You wanna have enough water in there so that it can move around and absorb a lot. All right, cool. So we've let this cook down a little bit, got it all nice and toasty. And now what we're going to do is add our boiling water here to the pot here. There we go. Now that's going to go ahead and just simmer for about 20, 30 minutes until that rice is tender. We'll drain off the water and that will be ready to add to our uh, shakshuka-like dish. Stunning. All right, we have moved on to the corn. What exactly are we going to do with this corn? All right, well, if these had complete husks, I might just let them roast in the oven for a little bit, get all that extra flavor. But we're gonna do this in a saute pan. So we're gonna start by peeling off the husk. Compost. I'm gonna trim the end so I have a nice flat end. And I'm gonna trim the kernel off of it using a very small sharp paring knife. Uh, hello. Straight down. Wow, ah. genius. So what this does is give you a little more stability so your corn's yeah. not going all over and this catches the kernels. Watch and learn, everyone. All right, let's see how Shauna messes this one up. That's it, so peel down and get that off. Here we go. You made this look way easier than <laughs> You were so weak, oh my God. <laughs> that was dangerous. Don't try this at Let me stabilize my corn. <laughs> Five days later. There you go. I'm wife material. Look at that, look at that. I want to say there's probably about the same amount of corn outside of the bowl as there is <laughs> inside the bowl. Cameron, show us how it's done. <sighs> I like to get angry when I'm in the kitchen. I find that I usually cook the best when I'm <laughs> furious at life. All right, how am I doing so far? You're doing great, I'm just... <laughs> you're doing great, minus the fact that all the corn is landing on the floor and you're really starting to piss me off. Other than that, you're doing fine. Oh, the family that cooks <laughs> together. Okay, on to our next step. That's our kernels of corn. Okay, now that we have removed the corn from the cob, we are going to put it into the pan there and start uh, frying it. Mm -hmm. So first things first, we'll add a little bit of olive oil into that pan. There we go. Try not to panic. Try not to burn everything down. Okay. This will help quell my fingers. Holds it close to the pan so it doesn't splatter. Oh yeah. There my, you go. My fears are quite quelled right now. Is that a word? I think so. I know quail is a word. <laughs> so quail's <laughs> gotta be one. <laughs> Let's season it. A little salt and pepper, please. <laughs> <laughs> the salt bay technique. <laughs> Way too much salt. <laughs> You've just ruined that dish now. Yeah, just stir it around, mix it up. We're gonna let that go. I'd like to get a little bit of brown on that corn. That's gonna bring out a um, lot of that sweet corn flavor because that's the sugars in it caramelizing. Okay, you're just playing with the food now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that cook down. We're gonna go get to our tomatoes now. Yes, we are. All right, corn is currently cooking. Mm -hmm. We are now gonna dice up our tomatoes and then throw them in the pan. Get them amongst the mix, if you will. <laughs> Get so it. let's go ahead and chop these bad boys up. How the heck do you chop a tomato? I have no idea. Oh, make sure we take this uh, the stem part off. It doesn't break down. It ends up being chewy. It doesn't break it Compost. Down. And then we don't really have to be too exact. We're just going to let these 
cook down a little bit, just like that. So we're just gonna finish chopping up these tomatoes and then we're gonna get them in the pan with the corn. Okay, so corn has been cooking down for a little bit. It's uh, this nice golden color. Mm. Hopefully you guys can see that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our chopped tomatoes that we just mm -hmm. chopped up, throw them in the pan. We also have all of these kidney beans here that we have kind of reheated. We had them stored in the freezer so they don't go bad. So they're already cooked, they're already prepped, ready to go. All we gotta do is just take those and add them to the mix. So let's do exactly that. Have at it. I got tomato duties. <laughs> we'll add a Shauna. Don't Apple. mess this up. Oh, more, more, more. Maybe like half of them. Puts four in. Yeah, she, she puts two beans in. You said a couple. <laughs> How about right. a little salt and pepper on there again? Those tomatoes aren't seasoned. There we go, off the elbow, perfect. So these beans, um, they were dumpster dived. See them in another episode, previous one. But what I did when I cooked them is I added lots of sort of Cajun style seasoning. So they are well that. flavored, they're well seasoned already. I make them in big batches and then I break it down in a quart containers and I freeze it. And that way, anytime we feel like using them, we just pull some out, we let it thaw out, and we got delicious tasting beans. The power of the freezer, let me tell you. Mm. If you've got fruits, veggies, put it in a plastic Tupperware or something, in a container of some sort, put that in the freezer and that thing will last for a long amount of time. It's a good thing to implement if you want to reduce the amount of food waste in your home. Right, it extends the life of the food you already have so that you can, in fact, eat it later and not waste it now because it's spoiled. All right, so Shauna, let's see what, oh my God, no, she's done a good job. It's all mixed, we're gonna let that cook down yep. and then um, once that's ready, we are going to add our eggs next and we're gonna do a little uh, shashuka style type of process with the eggs. So yep. you'll see that in just a second. Alrighty, so all of our veggies have cooked down here. As you can see, we've got this nice tomato, corn, and kidney bean stir fry. Is it a stir fry? Stew. I would call them a, a stew. stew. There's okay. a lot of liquid in there. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. We got something in that pan over there is basically what I'm trying to say. And um, we also have our onions and our rice, which have been boiling down. I mm -hmm. would show you this, but I'd also pour boiling hot water all over the kitchen, <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. So, what's the game plan? All right, so as I said, you're gonna cook brown rice like pasta, so there's gonna be excess water. Just taste the rice, make sure it's nice and tender. I've already done that, our rice is ready. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna strain my rice. Yeah, you need to back up. <laughs> We're gonna strain that out. There's that rice and the onions. And I'm gonna take some of this really beautiful rice and oniony flavored water and add a little bit to our veg here. Because what we're gonna do is crack these eggs right on top there and they're going to poach in that liquid. So who wants to uh, crack the first egg? Shauna. Beautiful technique. And just nice and low, just lower that right onto there. Yeah, go for it. There we go. Beautiful, there's one egg down. One handed. Oh, yeah, Kobe. Oh, I just got egg yolk in my eye. And that's how you get salmonella in your eyeball. Now you can let these continue to cook just like this on your stove top. You can also finish it in the oven and bake it. So we're gonna season our eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper. Go ahead and hit that. Beautiful. And we're gonna let that sit until our eggs are cooked. All right, at long last, we have finished our meal, okay? So this is it here. We've got our uh, chachuca styled um, eggs with our cooked tomatoes, corn, and the kidney beans. And then we've got our nice uh, basmati rice over here. What are the herbs that we have on top of that? Uh, we had some fresh parsley and some beautiful little chive blossoms in our herb garden. So I've just thrown them on top of the rice. Just for chuck them on. There we are. And now, we taste test and we figure out if this came out good or if it came out shockingly bad. <laughs> so saying as Shauna is the, um, yes, the, yes. the guest of honor here, you take the first bite. That was the Ooh. exact bite that I was gonna go for, but okay, no. <laughs> what do you think, try some rice. Mm. This is Shauna's first time actually eating dumpster dive food, I believe. That she knows of. That she knows of, yeah. If you don't mind, I'm gonna, uh, as you say, get amongst. Yep. Get a little egg, oh, a God. little everything. It's all like if Jesus had a baby in your mouth. <laughs> mm. I'm not really sure what that means. Mm. Yeah. It's good? Mm. I don't believe either of you. You both have been liars throughout my life, and so I'm now gonna have to Let's figure try. it out for myself, as per usual. Mmm, that's super good. With the beans and everything. 
10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Absolutely. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 9.5 out of 10. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching yet another episode of Cooking with Trash. Uh, we appreciate the support and all of the love that you guys have been giving us throughout the months. As I always say, if you guys like what we're doing, um, we'd love for you guys to engage with us, leave a comment, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. The main focus of this project is to get the message of food waste out there. We're trying to expose the realities of food waste. And uh, as you can see, each episode, we managed to pull out huge amounts of perfectly good food from the dumpsters of local grocery stores and other businesses. We do have a Patreon account. If you guys would like to support us on Patreon, you may do so. Uh, it's the link is gonna be in the description below. It's patreon.com slash cooking with trash. Peace out, thanks so much for watching guys. We will catch you on the next episode of Cooking with Trash.